Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to another season of Hardcore Minecraft. We're in a 1.19.2 world here. I know we just recently lost our other Hardcore series, but I wanted to start another one because I just, I love Hardcore so much, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to get right back to it. Looks like we spawned immediately in front of a temple, but I'm gonna run back here to this jungle, get some bamboo, get some wood real quick. I need to make some tools. Guys, we also recently just got partnered on Twitch, and thank you all for coming by for the live streams. I really do appreciate it. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to come by anytime we stream every single day also thanks to everyone who's in the patreon and in the discord let's uh give me some of this thank you very much oh my god no way are you kidding me we got pandas we have pandas here let's go wait is there a baby around i hope there's not a baby around please don't be angry please be a peaceful panda as soon as i get a name tag i'm naming this panda john john the panda you will be john the panda you will remain gotta take out the tnt all right give me some good treasure here some sand uh what's in here come on Ooh, golden apple perfect uh we got a uh, loyalty three books some golden armor and i guess a lot of bones that's kind of nice oh and guys i will be putting the seed in the description down below so if you want to play on this seed and follow along definitely feel free wait there is a that that's a village let's go oh my god so many bunnies there's so many sorry little guy i'm coming into your town i need your food so give me all of this thank you very much Ooh, this will be this is this is absolutely perfect this will be really nice to make some bread thank you very much sir anybody got a bed for me thank you very much Ooh, i'll use this and i'll eat this this is perfect you know what i'm gonna take your cactus too well, we have survived the first night. That was perfect. Uh, what else is in this village? Ooh, you might be some free iron later. I don't know why, but my first instinct is to come here and just take all the pots from every village. Oh, and in the distance, there is another portal. What's happening? You! You, sir! You are the one shooting at me! Be gone! Be gone! Big on, sir. I was gonna say let's take it easy on this series, because uh, I don't want to die, but yeah, we, are, we already got an arrow stuck in our head. Ooh, okay, gold block. I'll come back when I have an iron pickaxe. What is in here? Thank you for that. Ooh, some nice stuff here. Some Oh, sharpness five on the sword. I'll take that, I guess. It's not going to last long because it's gold, but oh, well, it looks good while I have it in my hand. My favorite thing about 1.19 still is probably just the fact that we can get in a boat and then get the inventory of the boat, put all of our kind of useless junk, may or may not be useless, whatever you're thinking about, but uh, you can put everything, if you want, all up in here and then you clear your inventory. It's super nice. All right sunken ship all right let's get some treasure let's go hopefully we get okay there's definitely some iron here there has got to be let's see if we can poke our heads in what's in here okay i'll take that i guess some coal could always use that what lies in here in the back give me that oh there we go that's what i'm talking about give me everything that's in here i'll take that i'll take that let's go totally forgot to mention also that the shaders that i'm using are actually called complementary reimagined shaders on this series so if you want to look it up it's just called complementary reimagined it's amazing look at the square like nintendo style of the clouds and the sunsets are still beautiful the the water still kind of has like a vanilla look to it but it definitely Definitely, like the shaders do bring, make it a lot more vibrant. Time to take a nap. Let's get down here. Thank you very much. And uh, underwater nap it is. I still can't even just get over the sun rays themselves, like the fog in the distance on the reimagined looks really good. And then if I dip below here, look at the shading on the water. This is just the default settings on the water too. This looks absolutely stunning. Okay, looks like I can't tell because the shaders and it looks like this is a, oh yeah, that's an ocean monument. That's, oh, these are guardians. I need to get out of here right now. This is bad. Looks like we have located the almighty building block spruce. Oh yes, uh, we're gonna have a good time. I'll take it all, thank you very much. This is uh, this is all I'll ever need. Actually, I do wanna find some mangrove wood though. I, ugh, the one thing about the last hardcore series is that we were we were using so much mangrove wood. It was awesome, it was amazing, and uh, we lost the world. It's all right though, we're gonna get some more mangrove wood. We will find it. Would it be possible to get a puppy the first episode? Come on now, puppy. Come on now. Yes, let's go. Making our way down the river. We have gone quite a ways so far. We've traveled a pretty great distance. Oh, we got a village. Let's go. I don't know if you guys have heard, but I am in need of a massive amount of pumpkins. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, I don't think anybody lives here. I haven't seen it. Okay, never mind. I see two people up there. I was going to say, this is an empty village. I looked in all of these. There's absolutely nobody in here. I am going to go over here and take this stone cutter. There should be... Uh, there should be one in. Yep, there we go. Give me that. I'll take this, please. It'll be very handy. As much as I love the taigas, I really want to figure out a, a nice place to call home. Okay, if we set up over here, we got plenty of eyes. That actually would be kind of nice. And you know what? I've never had like a polar bear farm or a polar bear pen. I've never made like a sanctuary for, of any type for polar bears. That'd be kind of cool to do in this series. Polar bears! Let's go! What's up, polar bears? How you doing? How do it be? Oh, there's a baby polar bear. I probably should... You know what? Let's just stay... There's a lot of polar bears over here. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna come down here and grab some more iron real quick. The best way to do it, this is this is my favorite. I'm just coming down here in the water. I don't have any iron right now, so it is a-okay with me to come down here beneath the deep depths and uh, go ahead and grab some. All this, like, there's so much, look at all this. There's so much coal, so much iron. There's copper everywhere, too. It's amazing. Uh, I'll see what's in here. Thank you very much. Ooh, yes, I could use all of this. Another village. You know what? I'm gonna take a bell. This is, like, the fourth village that I've come across. What's up, my dudes? Also gonna run in here, and there you go. Thank you. I'm gonna take this lectern. I'm gonna, we need a mending librarian pretty much way sooner than later, so let's just take all these out. Thank you for the books. Appreciate it, guys. You you're just, what are you doing here, bud? Get a job. Well, if I have an efficiency for a hoe, then I, I guess I have to take all the wheat, the hay bales, I mean. Let's just, there, there's more. Let's take it all. I love how it just insta-mines. It's so, it's, it's so satisfying. Oh no, it broke. Forgot it was gold. Thanks for everything, Village. I really do appreciate that. We have been traveling so far, but it's just so, everything it looks so nice. This river is pretty. Like, this This is just a regular plains biome, and it, it looks so amazing. Oh my god, it is day five, and we have run into a mangrove swamp. Let's go. We have, uh, we have, we have accomplished our goal. The mangrove swamps are beautiful. Give me the propagule. Thank you very much. Let's, dude, let's get a bunch of propagules. I need to get in here and get some of this red wood. Can I get that out of the way? Get, yeah, let's go. I hear frogs hopping around, too. Might as well take some of this mud, too. This is going to be nice for building with. Hey, we got some frogs here. This is sick. If only, if I had some leads and some slimes. Oh my god, we can make so many frogs. I, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. Wow, this seed is just loaded with villages. There's, there's so many. Ooh, this is fun. I'm just going to ignore the flames. I'm going to hop out real quick. Let's just, yeah. Oh god, everything, all these jungle leaves are breaking down. That's, this is, this is no good. This is not good at all. Let's, uh, where's the chest at, actually? Aha, where the fire is not. Let's go. Ooh, thank you for this. Thank you for that. You gotta be kidding me. There's another desert temple. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. All right, give me something good. Ooh, golden apple. Let's just, let's take everything here. What do we got? Another golden apple. Ooh, okay. Another golden apple and an, ooh, okay. We're at Riptide. Sharpness five. Are you kidding me? I am taking that. Oh my god, I, I just traveled like thousands of blocks from spawn, where are we at? Oh yeah, we're like 4,000 blocks away from spawn at least, so this is gonna take me at least an in-game day to get home. This is, I don't even, this is a huge ocean. I really, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to zero zero and hopefully I can get back there. Oh, it's the taiga, we are doing great. Okay, we're definitely on the way home. My dog is all the way out here, I haven't seen my dog now for like 10 minutes actually, so I am now just realizing that this dog's just been stranded out here, are you okay buddy? You okay? I should probably like hit up some like like at least stay next to the shore so he's all right. Is that who I think it is? Yes, yes, John. We made it back to you. Okay, we will get you back. I don't know if you're trapped in. Oh my dude, eat all of the bamboo you want. Yo, it's a little bird. I kind of want to make a friend. Wait, wait, where are you going, bud? Not too far, hopefully. Let's uh let's see if we can make him our friend. Yes, come down here, sir. I was getting seeds and the bird just like. Ooh, right back up here. I don't know why it did, but I got enough seeds. Hopefully that this hopefully this bird's not picky. Come on, bud. Be my friend. Please be my friend. Oh my god, I'm glad I got more than 20. Dude, if you take more than 20, this is ridiculous. I had 22 seeds. What? Are you kidding me? Hey, there's the rare ocelot here too. I haven't seen an ocelot like in forever. Like since I was playing on bedrock, I haven't seen one of these in years. They're so rare now, I feel like. Okay, I'm really hoping this time works, buddy. I came back with 15 more seeds. Let's just... Okay, I didn't jump up high enough. Came back with 15 more seeds, buddy. What do you think about these? Let's just... Oh, uh, literally only took one more. I needed one more. How about that? Now this right here is what true friendship feels like. I know we did a beach on the last series, but I kind of want to build a little bit more inland. Maybe we could stop right about here. This isn't too bad. We got animals. I see sheep. I do see chickens. I know for a fact there's cows back there. We got jungle wood, lots of birch, lots of oak. I think I might clear all of this out, and I might call this place home. Now, I was really hoping we could take John with us. Is it possible to put a panda in a boat? Let's, uh, hopefully let's find out. Come on, buddy, let's get in there. We will get John out of here. I promise, John. I'm sorry about the bamboo on your face, but, uh, we will, we will get you out of here. <laughs> he's literally just eating the bamboo while we're riding. That's, his face is sideways. What's happening? Oh, Mr. Panda, you must be some good luck, because I see another shipwreck ahead. This is awesome. Let's see what's in here real quick. John, you you man the boat. I will, I'll be right back. Oh, there's dolphins here. Thank you for the grace. I appreciate it. The only thing is I really can't get down here. And let me breathe here. Perfect. Let's breathe. And what's in the boat? A buried treasure map. Perfect. This is amazing. Let's go. We got our first diamonds, and we got a heart of the sea, which is nice, but we no longer need this buried treasure map, so I'm gonna throw it. Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to, but uh, we are good to go now. We are rich, John. We are rich.
Okay, I'm pretty sure John actually is a lucky panda because we're coming up on another one. This is a brand new one. This is amazing. What does this ship have for us? Let's see in here. Perfect. Lots of iron, lots of lapis. This is everything we ever could have asked for. Another buried treasure map? Okay. Whoa. Let's take a look here. What do we got? Is this the same one or we have more treasure to go find? We have more treasure to go find. Are you kidding me? Let's go, John. We're about to be even more rich. Let's see what we got down here. Come on now. Oh my god. This is... Wow. This is... Oh my god, we are rich. This is amazing. Turtles, carry on. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you guys. You're uh, still my favorite mob. And just like in the last series... Actually, you know what? Probably not over here. I will go just right here. And it's raining. How bountiful. We are going... Uh, yes, the harvest. I don't really want Podzel growing anywhere around here. I just don't... I don't think that would look good. I will probably put it in some, like, strategic looking spots. But for now, we're just going to get a spruce tree farm over here. What I want for my starter house build, I would like to get a lot of oak wood. And I'd like to get a lot of mangrove wood. So we're going to have to plant those propagules that we got from the mangrove swamp. And then I'd also like to get a lot of deep slates. So as soon as this little area of jungle and this little plains area is cleared out... I'm going to start uh, going digging for some deep slate. My man coming through. I have some cash. What do you got for me? Coral block, vines, mushrooms, dandelions, packed. Okay, I really don't. You got nothing for me, man. You got absolutely. You know what? I could really use the leads. I'm sorry, sir. I could use your leads. Don't hit me. Don't you hit me. Sorry you guys had to see that. Oh, that was a long shot. Yeah, I'm really sorry you guys had to see this. This is just, uh, this is a little brutal. Okay, these guys mean business. I, uh, I need to go get some iron armor at least. Wow, I think these guys ran away. I came back here with iron armor, and they are nowhere to be found. Uh-huh. Looks like we have another bird friend. Oh, and he's dancing. This space right here is looking a lot more usable already. I, uh, you know what I'm thinking? I keep seeing this ocelot. There might be one or two out here. They keep popping their heads in and out, and I, I feel bad. I'm like, it's like literal deforestation, but I'm gonna go in. We should get some cod, some salmon. There should be some out here somewhere and then uh, we can tame those ocelots we should be able to uh, add to this zoo this is gonna be a big old zoo sorry cod you're gonna have to be gone you're gonna have to be gone sir i'm sorry about it please get back here get back here sir thank you very much and you're gonna have to be gone sir we have located the ocelot come here buddy come on nope you're going the wrong way come on pal oh walk over here yeah come on come on take some of the oh it only took one it only took one we officially we have an ocelot. Let's go, dude. Out here on the search for more fish as a sustainable food source, because they do reappear quite often, and we are running low on bread, but this looks like there is going to be some treasure in here, and there is one drowned. I can take this guy out, and let's go see what's in there. Be gone, sir. Be gone, sir. Be gone, sir. Oh, I can't wait till we have a diamond sword. Let's see what's in the chest, and oh my god, a mending fishing rod. You know what? Once we, we can get luck of the sea and lure three on there, too. We'll have ourselves a pretty darn good fishing pole. Well, gee dang it, if that ain't a pirate ship, oh my goodness. For real though, this seed is actually starting to seem very overpowered, and uh, I didn't bring a bed, which is not good. I do have, I guess I have diamonds with me though. Let's see what's in this boat. Um, let's get here. What do you, oh my god, another buried treasure. Let's see. So I believe, yeah, this is definitely the one that I already went to. And there's got to be one more chest. It's getting dark. I can't believe I forgot the bed. Oh, the treasure. This is the true. We have three. Oh, we can make a diamond pickaxe now. This is beautiful. These shipwrecks are seriously everywhere, though, because I just came from that one. I'm pretty sure I already went to that one. There's been one over there. There's already one over there, too. This is my this is my fourth shipwreck. And we also got treasure from over there. This is This is insane. I finally slept, and now they're all gonna burn. I'm sorry about it, guys, but it's, it's just the way it goes. I think we should get a diamond pickaxe going. It's only right. It's only right. You know what? I think it's about time we go get some deep slate, too. I, man, that, that looks good. My dude, you're gonna have to hold the fort. Uh, definitely keep it safe up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just dig down this way. Why, do, why don't I use a shovel? I'm gonna dig right down here next to where I'm calling home base, right next to the beach, and uh, it should... Well, why am I digging right there? This shouldn't be too long down. Before I go any further, though, it is raining, and I do want these guys to be comfortable in uh, just not the rain, though. I want, I want these guys to be dry. I feel bad for these guys. And the last two. Okay, perfect. We're probably going to go ahead and strip all of these. Then we'll go ahead and just torch it up. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. This guy over here is a renegade. Does not care about the rain whatsoever. The animal party is growing larger by the minute. This is fantastic. Oh, my dude decided to join too. This is perfect. What's up? All right, back to business though. For real, we're going to continue this journey. This is the jackpot, it looks like. I hope this cave isn't too big. Let's go back here, light this up. And we are good to go. Let's just grab this from right here. Oh my god, we have deep slate. Let's go. Dude, our 
this whole build and a lot of the builds on this series and the other series that we do is very deep slate oriented so this is yeah a lot of and a lot of the streams a lot of the streams are deep slate oriented too because we have to gather a lot of deep slate in order to build this stuff on youtube speaking of the streams if you're wondering what the book and quill is that i've been carrying around for the past couple minutes it's actually the book of appreciation from the stream so this is everybody that donates and uh subs on stream live and uh, yeah that's just the book of appreciation we had it on the last hardcore world and unfortunately we lost the last hardcore world so we're back in and uh, we had to make a whole new book came back up to bring up some deep slate back to the inventory and this guy is just creeping along buddy what are you doing i don't even have a diamond sword yet you just you gotta go big on sir and your friend i see your i see your friend creeping in here come on let's go you want to fight let's go be gone and be gone ah and one more be gone before we build the house because i mean i still need to bring this land back further a little bit anyways but I, I really wanted to get a little bit of a mangrove tree farm going here i don't really have an actual like farm because obviously i need a bunch more redstone a bunch of pistons and stuff for all that but uh, yeah for right now we're, i'm just gonna make a bunch of shears and we'll go up and we'll take these all down one by one in my opinion the best way to take down the mangrove trees are just to go straight at it with the shears because then you can collect all of these leaves and uh, use them for bone meal or for decoration if you want to but i really i really do appreciate the bone meal unless you have a skeleton farm then you really don't need to really worry about that but yeah once you've used the shears to kind of unload on all of this you can you can pretty much just gather all of the mangrove wood that you want I'm actually just gonna start a quick little bone meal farm for myself, so we will just use the composter, the hopper, and a chest, put everything in here. Mangrove leaves for now, I'll probably, you know what, we'll keep one stack just in case. All the mangrove roots, I do not use those. Bamboo, I don't think you can compost bamboo, can you do that? Let me put that there first real quick. Nope, never mind, you cannot compost bamboo. I don't really feel like going all the way back to that mangrove swamp biome to get a bunch of mud, so what I'm doing is taking a bunch of water bottles over here. I can actually do this all day. You can turn all of this dirt right here into mud. It's really not hard at all. You just gotta take a water bottle, splash it up on the dirt, and then there you go. You got yourself some mud bricks, or some mud blocks, I mean. It's pretty nice. Guys, look at this also. Look at how many ocelots. There's one. We had the original. Now there's another one that popped up. Now there's even more babies. There's baby ocelots. Did I say axolotls? There might be ocelots. Yeah, two baby ocelots out here. What's happening? This is insane. Coming over here also. As I uncovered all of this, I noticed there is a giant, a giant ravine. We can head down there. There might be some creepers. I don't want to... I don't know what's actually there doesn't look like there's anything back there now that i cleared it up and the ravine looks like it goes all the way down into a deep deep cave so let's go ahead and just jump down there real quick where's a safe spot it looks like this is pretty safe okay let's just let's keep some torches down here i know there's gonna be stuff that is gonna be wanting to spawn everywhere but let's just let's just not allow that to happen looks like there's some copper back here and not much else this vine right here is just offering me a free way in and out Oh, okay, yep, this is big, deep, scary cave time. I don't, oh my goodness, what is even here? There's good, I don't want even, I don't even want anything to fall down. I do see a creeper over there. Now that I'm in here, I can actually kind of make a little bit of light. Ah, yes, the complimentary shader is so nice. Okay, all right, everything's lit up in here. A lot of creepers running around. Not a lot of things that are of use to me right now. I might be able to go get some deep slate down there at some point, but best thing for me to do is get out of here i'm glad the ravine is there but uh you know what i want to do i'm gonna actually i'm actually just gonna cover it up i'm gonna put two here just in case i happen to break a piece of dirt and fall through that would be uh that'd be awful we got plenty of books from those librarians back in that desert so we can make a lot of bookshelves here for a nice new enchantment setup i'm actually just gonna set up right here you know what this seems fine i'm not i wasn't thinking about anything special anyways we'll just get 15 of them set up right here one two three one two three one two three actually i just put more more than enough down that should give me enough for level 30 let's see what we can get in here with the pickaxe unbreaking three let's see come on fortune three unbreaking three this is exactly what we're looking for let's go get some diamonds now this is awesome because i can come back down into the strip mines and grab everything that i left here i can even grab this redstone get more of it fortune three is just uh it's a godsend it's it's amazing i love it more diamonds you are mine get over here sir bing bang boom and bop and wow all right we got oh we got more let's go let's make our helmet right here let's make our boots right here let's make our pantalones right here let's go ahead and get our chest plate going right here as well and then we can finally put it all on take this off of me sir put this on let's go yes dude we are looking fantastic since taking down these mangrove trees is kind of painstaking i really want to get this axe leveled up can we okay efficiency four is not bad fortune three efficiency four 
is pretty decent for an axe. So now I can take these mango. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is really nice. It used to take like at least a second or two every time. Now it's just basically insta mine. This thing is making so much bone meal. It's just, it's for days. This is, oh my God, it's so much. We're about to fill up that whole chest. But guys, I really wanted to go out and scope out. Now that we took out and flattened out everything, every, it's, looking, it's looking pretty bare. I think it's about time we put it in the house. I'm going to probably use a lot of deep slate, regular just cobbled deep slate to start it off. I don't know. I mean, it's not going to be a beach house. I might not go out this far, but I'm going to get a basic shape. I'm going to do the L shape of the house that we typically do. Actually starting to look a little bit more T shaped. We're probably going to just start building up with the mangrove logs. We like to put a lot of these in the corner because it allows us to uh, make a lot of more decorations within the walls. And we're probably going to move up with the cobblestone as well, or the cobbled deep sleep, that is. I don't know how tall this side's gonna be, but usually I like to get it up at least, usually every wall about six blocks high before I make any decisions. Best way to see how tall the wall is gonna be is to count five up, and that's for all of my builds at least, but that's just because I like to put the fences in between the walls, and I like to put some iron bars in between those, and get more fences on each side, and then you can actually uh, put the gates in between those, and I actually just like to do that in between all of them. All of my builds, are, end are they all end up being in odd numbers, so all of these, like this is out by 9 right here, these are all separated by 5, sometimes they're separated by 3 right here, but usually, yeah, and that's 5 up as well, usually it's all just odd numbers though. Not really sure how much I want all this to come together yet, so I'm gonna go to the tippy top here and actually get some stairs out. We'll start on this section over here. This is going to tower up a little bit more, but over here is for sure going to have some stairs, and we'll alternate between the deep slate stairs and the deep slate tile stairs. Get some windows set up right here. We'll get some stairs and some trap doors. That looks pretty good. Now, this roof right here is probably going to end up being the tallest of all of them. I'll probably end up... Ooh, actually, let's get the deep slate brick stair over here. Probably end up going only stairs on the other roof just so I can even it out. I don't want it to be too tall. This is probably the tallest it's going to go. I'll put a lantern right here. We'll end up putting some of the planks right here, and then we'll line it up with some stairs, and hopefully this starts to look a-okay. I actually decided that before we complete the entirety of the mangrove in here, I want to make sure that just going up with the stairs on this side of the roof is going to suffice, and that that's an upside-down stair. We'll ignore that for now, but I want to make sure that just going up with the mangrove wood up with only the stairs instead of alternating just want to see if that'll work. Placing the oak planks up here, we might need to just stop. Actually, that might be one too far, but we are slightly taller than the other roof, so this is actually perfect. I am willing to bet that I have placed well over 500 stairs. We have, we are, we are pretty high up here. Let's uh, see if we can get this roof completed pretty quickly. All right, not looking too bad. Taking a couple steps back. Definitely have to fill in some of these walls. We had a double chest of the cobbled deep slate, and we have already used like three quarters of it, so we're probably going to have to go back down and grab some more, so that means going back down to the basement of this world. It's getting kind of dark, so I kind of want to, let's just go up, maybe start putting up some lanterns down here. We can put them, obviously, one in the corner, but we're going to do the classic fence to chain it to lantern right there, and then if, we, yep, we do have some stairs. Let's go ahead and put some stairs around each of the logs on the bottom here. That'll That'll look pretty nice. We can start decorating this wall too. Like every other one, I'll probably put a couple of tiles here. We can actually hang some lanterns. We'll put some gates up. Let's go, let's have some fun with this. We can hang some more lanterns here. We can probably end up putting some windows here. So we'll probably break one or two of these. Yeah, we'll probably break this one. We'll put a stair right here. We have more trap doors to make a windowsill. This is gonna be nice. We're gonna make this whole place look nice. Now that I'm looking at this decorated here, this bottom, it, it's a little empty. I might just start adding windows, because obviously if we take a step back, we got windows to this side of the roof too, but if we start over here, we could add a small window. I'll probably end up, all well, my axes are going to break pretty soon, but I'll probably end up taking you out right here. We can put a windowsill right here. We'll probably go one, two, three. We'll actually just, maybe just do one. Let's put a window right here, and then we can actually run over to the other side of the roof start taking out some of these. Where did that start? Right there. We can probably start windows right about here. Let's go ahead and finish the stairs. I'm not going to outline these with deep slate because they're already kind of like part of the roof, so I don't really feel like there's need to do that. I'm also just going to take these out right here. You know, we could just take this out. Let's go ahead and place some stairs right there, put another plank, let's put one more plank, and then we'll actually outline these with some trap doors right here. That should Make it look like the window is just protruding from the house a little bit more, and then we gotta line these up with some lanterns. Let's go ahead and add our buttons here. One down on the side, one on the top, another one on the other side, and let's just hop down. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that, and 
Bam. The windows, dude, the windows help out so much. Sorry, my guys, I really need more, uh, you know, I just need the leather, I need the leads. I, I pretty much need everything you got, except for what you're selling. Whatever you guys are selling is usually what I don't need. I was looking up here to get the tippy top decorated, and I completely forgot that we're in a jungle biome, and I had bamboo already, so it's time to get up here with our scaffolding. We have no time to waste. This is a this is a no time wasting zone. Speaking of wasting time, there are a few there are a few tasks that were just handed along to us. We have um, a little bit of clay potting issue. I don't have my classic plant, the azalea plant, to put into the clay pots that are all going to be all over the exterior of the house. Um, every time we put a windowsill down like this, I love to put the azalea plant in there, the flowering azalea plant that is. So what I'm going to do is jump down here and break all of my ankles, and we're going to run back to the jungle, because I do remember seeing an azalea tree, which does lead to a lush cave, most likely. Here we go, so I'm going to, yeah, let's just beach here. I'm going to have to remember these coordinates, and we'll take these down. I'll see if I can take a couple of the saplings back with me, because if we can, then I can obviously make more of these, and we can use them for decoration. No way. You gotta be- are you serious? Okay. Alright, there- I- hold on. There's no baby pandas around. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. You don't want to be going down into that hole, bud. Let's get you- oh, I don't want to be going into that hole either. Let's go put you in the boat if- it, okay. You want to go over here into the boat? It might be raining, but we have ourselves two pandas. This is outstanding. Not sure what that green stuff is hanging out of the, the panda's nose, but uh, it looks a little bit like snot, and that's uh- why- why is it like that? Let's get you back into your home over here. This is going to be your true home. I will get you under where it doesn't rain. This is going to be great. There you go, bud. I'll park you right there. And I need to get myself to sleep because one, it's dark and two, it's raining. Next, what we're going to do is place some of these campfires down. And I actually just kind of want to lay them this way. I feel like that would be a better direction for them to face. We'll go up there and place a shovel on all of them to take them all out. But for right now, I'm just going to make a nice little awning for myself. Decided to come over to the side, and, and uh, it was kind of getting a little bare over here, so I wanted to bring a little bit of, uh, you know, just make it protrude out just a little bit more, so we're bringing this out to add a little bit of an extra room over here. Now on the other side, I was trying to make a small stairs entrance to the outside, and uh, this, I don't know, I feel like the right side of this house was just, it was missing just a little bit of stuff, and so I'm going to add a new little awning over here as well just until we get right over here then we can build right up to it i'm gonna finish the underside of the stairs here if possible from this angle it looks like it is perfect perfect yay okay so then we can walk up here i would like to get the edge of this finished and i really gotta i really gotta take i have to smother those fires this is getting loud next what i'm gonna do is line up the stairs here with some spruce trap doors and this is actually gonna be the first use of the spruce trap doors in this entire build which is honestly that took a lot of restraint for me. I, I use spruce trap doors on everything, but we're going to see how this looks going up. Not too bad, not too bad. I just wanted to make it look like there's a little bit of a railing on this. Now, one of the last things I want to do to decorate is take these composters and put some azaleas right on top. I just think that makes any of the builds pop. I am thinking now that uh, this entire roof compared to the other roof over here is looking a little bit bare. Yeah, when I step over here, it's extra detailed and the other side is not so detailed. The last window has now been completed. We can probably get the last of the lanterns in here, and I believe we need to get some lanterns down here as well. I can fix this last slab. And yep, one right there and one right there, and that should be it. I'm gonna hop down here. No way to get down with the scaffolding, and let's see. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. This is uh this building's starting to turn out pretty nice. I think next what I want to do is it's gonna be really fun to, and especially since it's kind of awkward in this area where the deep slate meets the mangrove. It's going to be fun to put in a little chimney, so I'm going to put one right here, maybe put one right here as well, um, just to see if that works out. Let's go ahead and just replace that. I don't even know why I have the hoppers with me, but I have a little bit of andesite here. Let's go up, tower up here. Then we'll go ahead and just place two of these guys. Actually, let's just let's just go ahead and take these out, and then we'll place two of these guys in. I don't have any quartz, so what I'm going to do is jump up here and use some polished diorite as a little flag, and I feel like... You know, I feel like this will be okay. It's not going to look, probably not going to look nearly as good as the quartz does because the smooth quartz is like it, it's like there's not that line in the middle of the slabs, but this will still be all right for now. I really got to get down. I have so much stuff down there. It's it's all got to go inside. And we have to, now that, I'm now that I'm thinking about it, we have to make this path go all the way over here. I want to connect my front door over to my side door. It's all gotta go. We're gonna take it down. I guess we- I, I could put a bunch of barrels and chests inside. The interior is probably gonna be done over a long period of time on stream. And by the way, it's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Again, if you want to check that out anytime, we do stream every single day, so definitely feel free. 
I think in this little nook right here, we're going to go ahead and I'm probably just going to... Now let's put a little bit of water right here. We're going to put some carrots. This is going to be my little carrot farm because we need a lot, and I mean a lot of golden carrots. We are not taking this series lightly. I'm going for golden carrots. I'm going for totems. We're doing all of the safety features necessary. Time to run around the house and just bone meal around because uh, we need to make this look a lot more natural. I do remember getting some blue orchids from the wandering trader. So yeah, we can grab these. I found some lily of the valleys earlier, but other than that, we need to pretty much, we need to go exploring for a couple more colors of flowers. Found us some peonies. Let's go. Hey, and we got some lily. I just, I almost called them Lilix. I got some lilacs right here. You know what? We're just gonna start calling them Lilix. We have located the third and final flower. Give me all of the rose bushes. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Now it is time to plant them all. Oh my god. This is when the house really starts coming together. Taking a step back here. It looks like we're okay on that side. Okay on this side. This is looking glorious. Man, I... Oh, yes. I'm feeling good about this one. This is going to be a great hardcore series, guys. Thank you so much for joining on this episode. I am I'm super happy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who's in the Discord. Thank you to everyone who's a patron. And thank you to everyone who joins again on those live Twitch streams. I really do appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys for episode two. Thank you so much. Bye.